and welcome back to another episode of Mini Bike Mike's Projects. Going to be working on the trike again here today. Um, I did a couple things in front of record again. Um, I already switched out the swing arm here for the one that had the exhaust mounts all ground off and for whatever reason. I also tried adjusting the fender on the back here. I noticed it was a little cattywampus and ended up cracking it. So luckily I had this other one off the, the spare motor and got that put on there. Um, what I'm about to do though is get all the cooling shrouds mounted back on here and the exhaust off of the Chinese scooter that I tore apart a couple weeks ago and should quiet it down quite a bit. So let's get to it. All right, so I got the cooling shrouds here off of that motor I tore apart out of the go-kart um, and also the cooling fan because this thing didn't have any of them. One thing if you are building these motors to be very careful about, the screws that come with the fan, if you've got them, try to reuse them because they don't only stick out about a quarter of an inch and if you put them in here to your flywheel and they're too long, it'll hit your stator and can ruin it. So you don't want that. So I'll bolt the cooling fan on and the shrouds. Unfortunately, to put the shrouds on, I need to pull the carburetor and the exhaust is already off, but um, so I gotta pull some stuff off and I can bolt that on and then get the exhaust on there. So here we go. So I didn't get too far. Um, I got the fan bolted up. Honestly, that's about it. I went to put the cooling shrouds on and they don't want to line up. It's like the cylinder is a little shorter. So I looked into it and actually looked at the model number of this engine. And it is a GY6, but it's actually the 125cc motor. And so I believe that's why the cylinder is a little shorter and the shroud doesn't want to fit. So what my plan is going to be is to take the cylinder and piston out of my spare motor and drop it into this one. And I believe they should just bolt right up. At least I hope. So I went to my spare GY6 motor and started pulling the cooling shrouds off of it and decided why not try them. So I pulled them and fit right on here. Um, I think these ones are just the oddity because they're from that candy go-kart which it was a GY6, but a lot of stuff didn't line up with the standard GY6s. So maybe that had a longer cylinder, different cooling shrouds, or maybe it's because it was the go-kart GY6 over a scooter GY6. I'm not sure, but this one works, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this. Okay, so I got the cooling shrouds on. Uh, also helps make the motor look a little nicer, dresses it up a bit. Unfortunately, I had to use all the cooling shrouds off my spare motor. They all lined up just perfectly, but for some reason the ones off the candy go-kart did not. So there must be more differences in the go-kart motors and the scooter motors than I thought. But yeah, so I was able to use this one. Um, 
unfortunately though it does have a crack big hole right here um so i'll have to get another one of these but they're pretty cheap uh, i got the cooling fan in there just got to bolt the carburetor back in and then i'm gonna grab my chinese scooter exhaust and start getting that bolted up all right so i found my chinese scooter exhaust it's got two parts you got your header here just bolts the motor into the muffler here and then here's the muffler came off that other scooter you see here it's the three holes bolt up with the, the header and that should quiet this thing down quite a bit so let's get her bolted up Okay, we got her on there, bolted up pretty simple. Um, two bolts here, three into the muffler, and then the two mounting points here. Uh, you might have been able to tell from the time-lapse video that those were pretty long bolts. They were the only ones I had that fit. And I didn't feel like searching for my ratchet, which would make it faster, but I had the 14 millimeter wrench handy, and so that's why I was there cranking for a while. But. She's on there now, and let's start her up and see how she sounds. So, as you can see, it's much quieter now compared to just having an open pipe on there. So, that's good and it doesn't sound too bad. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot, but got the muffler, exhaust, cooling shrouds, cooling fan all put on so that it'll actually cool itself like it should and sound like it should. And, yeah, I'm already happy with it being much quieter instead of just a loud just loud exhaust um, which is now currently on the go-kart and when I test drove that earlier today it's loud but luckily that thing gonna mostly be off-road so I don't really care we'll be out in the woods when we're driving it um, probably try to find something for it though quiet it down and that way when I am riding it in town it's not super annoying for everyone around me um, but yeah, in the next episode, what I'm going to start working on now is uh, actually routing and cleaning up the wiring because like I showed you in the intro video, it's pretty hideous and just laying in here. Um, and then once I actually get that cleaned up to where it's not going to snag and catch on anything, then I can actually test drive this thing and take it out of the road. So if you like the videos, uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.